Hi guys, welcome to Food with Chetna. I'm making a really quick red onion chutney and it gets a lot of heat from the red chilies, a bit of sarnas from tamarind and a bit of sweetness from jaggery and a bit of nuttiness from roasted ground nuts. So we're going to get started by chopping the red onion roughly. So I've got a piping hot pan here and um, I'm going to add two tablespoons of um, sunflower oil. We're going to add some dried red chilies. Now you can add as many as you like depending on how hot you want it, but I usually add um, six to eight because I like a really nice spicy chutney. To this, we're going to add a roughly chopped onion. Now we'll just cook this on a medium to low heat till it just starts to become golden brown. And once the onion is cooked, it becomes really nice and sweet. So um, that's what we're trying to do. The onions are just beginning to change color and this is the time we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of roasted peanuts. And now we're going to cook it for another two to three minutes. We'll now add uh, one teaspoon of tamarind paste. It just gives a lovely sour flavor. And then we'll add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And the last thing um, that gives the perfect balance to this chutney is um, some jaggery. And um, I have got roughly two tablespoons of it. If you can't get hold of jaggery for some reason, then just use some uh, brown sugar. Our mixture is ready. And what we're going to do is leave it to cool down for 10 minutes before we grind it into a lovely chutney. All the mixture goes into the blender, a splash of water, grind this into a smoothish space because I don't want it really, really smooth because I want a bit of crunch. Oh, lovely. Just the tiniest bit more water. That smells absolutely delicious. It's just the right consistency with a little bit of crunch. To finish it, we're just going to take a tablespoon of roasted peanuts and then crush it just roughly. So here's the red onion chutney ready within minutes. It's really, really nice, spicy, um, sweet, sour, so good with rice and curries, just spread on some chapati. And you can find all those recipes on the channel. So please do give this a go and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye.